Well, propane prices may be settling down now, but some customers are still angry. They were stuck with higher bills. So some paid as much as three times what they normally do. So who is making money off the propane shortage? Fox 11 investigates, looks for answers. Here's Robert Hornacek. This is a crisis. Somebody is making big bucks. And it's just beyond our control. An estimated 250,000 people in Wisconsin rely on propane to heat their homes. Diane Ingalls is one of them. We've been really cold for quite some time. She's also one of more than 100 people who filed complaints with the state over how much they were charged for the heating fuel. My locked-in rate was no longer going to be honored. Ingalls says she thought her rate with Milton Propane was supposed to be locked in at 174.9. But when she bought 100 gallons of propane on January 27th, she was charged 549.9. That's more than three times higher. I'm thinking, where in the heck am I going to pull that kind of money out? So I threw it on a credit card, and all I could afford was 100 gallons. Ingalls contacted the company to complain, but got nowhere. Because my contract was a locked in and not prepaid, therefore they could throw it out on some clause in paragraph 5. They could throw it out the window, and they could charge me whatever it was because it's an emergency market situation. Do you think that's fair? Absolutely not. Fox 11 investigates went to Milton Propane's headquarters in southeastern Wisconsin for an explanation. If someone has that lock or bid, is that subject to change? Well, it was this year for the first time in almost 50 years. And that Owner John Arndt says he charged higher rates to some of his customers over a 12-day period. Those who paid up front still got their locked-in rates, but others, like Ingalls, did not. Arndt says that's because his supply was very limited during that time. In fact, one of his suppliers backed out of its contract with Milton Propane, saying in a letter on January 17th that it had to cease deliveries immediately. Arndt says with prices skyrocketing and supply tightening, he didn't have much choice but to pass along the higher costs. What do you say to customers who paid that higher rate in that in-between time, who are kind of frustrated and say that they, they feel like they overpaid? I guess, you know, like the contracts I have that are written to me, if they don't come to fruition, then how do you back the ones that you have with other people? So you take a look at it to say the ones that had a signature on them with money paid in, since I was getting half of my allocated contracts, I agreed to do business with them and took care of them for that 12 days. The other, I didn't, and I used a clause in our contract to be able to get out of that. Is that fair, you think, to them? Um, I think most people were very humane about it and didn't have probably not even uh, a few people that, you know, forcefully objected to it. Is there anyone to blame for what's happening? Well, there are lots of fingers pointing at lots of things. Brandon Scholes is the managing director of the Wisconsin Propane Gas Association. He says propane dealers are in a tough spot. You know, the market fluctuation in driving that propane that high could put dealers out of business. So what they're trying to do is manage their business by saying, look, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm paying 420 for propane that, you know, you had it at 180 and I, I have to charge you more. Otherwise, they will go out of business. So where is all the money going? You'd think with prices tripling that somebody has to be making money on this. Joe Bukowski from Country Style Propane in O'Connell Falls insists it's not the local dealers. Who's making money off this? Well, I guess that's beyond my knowledge, but to me, when gas is worth a certain price on the 20th of January and on the 27th of January it's worth three times as much, I guess, where's that money going, I guess? It's not uh, going to you? It ain't going to me, no. No, it's not going to me. Who's making money on this? Not a lot of people. I, this is, you know, there, there Somebody are... Somebody has to be making well, there, money. Well, uh, there are a lot of fingers being pointed that says, oh, you're, you're price gouging. You're just jacking up the price. But I can tell you that wholesale suppliers and dealers really aren't in much of a position to price gouge because it will ruin their business. Since propane is a commodity, the price is determined by the market. Brandon Scholl says that puts propane producers in a position to profit. The supplier is buying it from the producer. And so the producer has got suppliers, wholesalers, from all over the country trying to buy propane. Well, that's what happens in supply and demand. When you have high demand, uh, from wholesale suppliers going to producers, 
they're going to charge more because they can. John Arndt from Milton Propane also blames the producers. Who's making money off this propane being as expensive as it is? I would presume the refinery slash cracking process from the crude and the different refineries down in the Gulf area. Arndt's theory is that the shortage has a lot to do with the massive amount of propane exports. According to the federal government, in November, propane companies shipped more than 410,000 barrels of propane a day out of the country. That's the highest amount of propane exports ever. And it was right in the middle of the peak propane season. But at this point, that's just a theory. The bottom line for customers like Diane Ingalls... I don't mind prices going up a little bit. I'm not a fool, though. ...is that answers, like propane, are in short supply. For Fox 11 Investigates, I'm Robert Hornacek.